here is my bedroom, or the Boom Boom Room. This is where I sleep, it's where Little Foot sleeps. I have my Nintendo and my Super Nintendo in here. All my Muppets posters, because Muppets make me happy. I've uh, got a keyboard over here, because I'm trying to keep my mind active during my free time. So, uh, I don't have a bed frame yet, I know. It's, uh, it's not much, but it's better than where I was sleeping before this. So two days after I left Ring of Honor, I put all my stuff into storage uh, so I could move into a van. I thought, why bother with rent when I can hang out on the beach and sleep in a van? And that'll be my summer in 2009. Uh, I'll be free. I'll be free. Summer of freedom. But I wasn't free. So when the summer was over, I started sleeping on friends' couches and things of that nature. And uh, during the fall, I went to Europe for a month to try to make some money. And uh, basically, so I could have some place to sleep. And there's one show in particular. Um, I, I stopped caring at all at this point. I stopped caring at all. There's one show in particular where I got on the microphone and I said, hey, before I wrestle, who's got pills? Because I didn't care who knew. The entire audience, fine. Everybody in the locker room, forget about it. We, I used to make announcements in the locker room. Yo, who's got pills? Where's the pills at? Pathetic. When I came back from Europe in the late fall, I had no place to go. Literally and figuratively. I didn't have a home, and it stopped being fun. Completely. For a while, it had turned from want to, to now have to. I have to. I have to take pills to get up in the morning. I, I, I have to find drugs today. Uh, if I don't, I will be miserable. Uh, I have to spend money I don't have on drugs. And I watched, I watched the world go past me. I was watching my friends who, uh, who I was in the business with. I was watching my friends in wrestling go on and succeed and be, uh, be successful in other companies and make money. And here I was. 10 years into wrestling, um, a drug addict, homeless, out of shape, um, and things were going down. And then one day, I got a call from Gabe, and he asked me to come to Dragon Gate USA. And it was just the right call at the right time, because I wanted, I wanted to break free from, from my addiction, I wanted to do something with my life, and here I was given an opportunity for a rebirth. Dragon Gate USA represented something new to me. Um, I could start fresh. I could, I could go back to wrestling. That was a big thing too. I could finally go back to wrestling. So that, you know, I was bleeding a lot. So I'd done barbed wire matches. I'd done stuff with light tubes. And I wanted to finally go back to wrestling. Because that's what I made my name in, was wrestling. I went from drugs to being a have to, to a won't. I suffered through the withdrawals. Pretty soon, I started going back to the gym. I got an apartment for the first time in my life by myself. I started hanging out with my friends more. I started doing yoga. Got new gear. Got a tan. I started to get my shit together. I was finally taking my life back. I'm not telling you the story because I think it's artistically cool or tragically hip or look at me I overcame drugs or anything like that I'm ashamed I'm embarrassed I wasted years of my life and I am embarrassed and that is why I'm telling you this because you need to know what happened in my past to understand my future because they say you can't change the past but I'm about to try to do the next best thing <laughs>